it's funny, sometimes when you set up these shots, you want to make the background look good. And I was just trying to mess around with some stuff back there to kind of make it look a lot better for you guys. Um, but despite the clutter right here, everything's going good today. Uh, I was really trying to figure out what today's video is going to be. Um, I think I want to gear it more towards a live stream video. Um, what's that? I don't know. Are you yours? Uh, yeah, I'm going to show you guys one easy way to live stream here on YouTube for beginners. Uh, and that is through YouTube live events is the easiest way that I find uh, this possible. So um, stay tuned. I'm actually going to go do a live stream right now and I'll come back and show you guys how exactly I did it. So heading over here onto YouTube, when I go to a live event, this is the easiest way to live stream without messing around with any encoders uh, and any software because that stuff can honestly just get a little bit annoying. So when you're on your YouTube page, if you head over here to live streaming and it brings up this very confusing encoder software options which you don't need to know anything about basically you're gonna click underneath stream now and you're gonna go to events this is the easiest way to do a live stream on YouTube and it's utilizing Google Hangouts a great program if you haven't used it yet um, it, is, it comes with your Gmail account so basically you're gonna come to this page click on new live events and you're gonna to want to give it a title and you want it very important you click over here on public you're gonna make that a public event um, basically you're gonna click on go live but you have to click on this first to make it public so as go live happens then this window pops up saying ready to go you will now enter a Google Hangout on air so you can live stream from your webcam and as this window pops up here Uh, it, it, this is going to be, it says here Google Hangouts on air. Um, and you can start Google Hangout, which will bring you to this screen here. It's going to bring you to this screen right here, uh, which is your broadcast window. And, um, and this broadcast window, as you can see, you can see myself, it's my webcam broadcasting to me. Um, you do have options before you click start broadcast. If you click on the settings here, if you have a secondary webcam plugged in, it will be detected uh, and you can choose that, which is what I'm using, a C920. But if you have a, a built-in webcam, obviously this one's going to be highlighted first off. Uh, same goes with audio. If you don't have an audio plugged in, it's going it's to be set to default microphone. But I have a blue snowball plugged in, so I can click on blue snowball, but yours would say default microphone. Uh, I'm just going to click cancel so now that saves. And basically, you're going to be here, and you just click on start broadcast. And this is going to bring you up um, on air. And a quick tip here, if you go down to here to the links, and you copy and paste this link here, and bring it back to your browser, and paste that in. This will bring you um, back to your chat screen so you can watch it for feedback and it will also open up the chat box here as well which um, is important to read your chat box while the live stream is going. That's how you interact with your live streamers back and forth. And I mean that's basically it. Google Hangouts a great platform to be starting off your live streams. Uh, to be honest, go play around with it, figure it out, see what you can come up with. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, but until next time, of course, if you have any questions or any help, let me know in the comments down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. One love, people. Oh Adios.